Now we're ready to start talking about the nature of computation using binary numbers as representations. Okay. So let me start with a very simple idea that I'm going to have you think about the binary number 1 as true and the binary number 0 as false. And the reason I'm going to do this is I'm going to introduce Boolean logic, which you're all familiar with, very simple concept. But to do that, it makes it a little bit easier to just think about we're going to operate on true and falsehood, okay? Where one is true and zero is false, okay? So just simple translation in your head. Okay, so let me remind you what the Boolean operators are. There are three of them. Logical and, logical or, and logical not, okay? And these have the plain text reading of those words. So if I tell you it is sunny outside and it's warm outside, it means both are true. If I tell you that it is sunny outside or it's warm outside, one or both are true. And if I tell you it is not sunny outside, well, then it's not sunny outside. So it has that same, that logical plain text reading. But let me go ahead and define it formally with so-called truth tables. So my truth table here has four rows and three columns. The first two columns denote the values of my two inputs, A and B. So when I compute logical AND, I ask for the AND of two things, sunny and uh, warm. And then I output to you the logical AND of them. Um, there are four possibilities here which correspond to all possible inputs. Why? Well, there's two inputs, and they can each take on two values, so there's four permutations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. The order I put in here doesn't really matter. Okay. What is the logical AND of two statements that are true? So if A is true and B is true, remember again here that I'm substitute. think about these as true where it's 1 and false where it's 0. If A is true and B is true, then the AND is true. Good. In all other cases, the logical AND is false. So if this is true and this is false, then they're both not true. If this is false and this is true, they're both not true. And if they're both false, you better believe that the AND is also false. So for a logical AND operator, the only time that the AND of two things is true is when they are both true. Okay, good. Simple calculation. And it's computation, by the way. It's got an input and it's got an output. It's a pretty simple computation, but it's a computation. All right, let's do the logical OR. Same truth table. Uh, this side stays exactly the same. Two columns for the input, one column for the output, and there are four rows corresponding to exact same thing. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Now remember that an OR is true if one or more of the statements are true. So here, they're both true, so the OR is true. A is true, so the OR is true. B is true, so the OR is true. And here, of course, neither are true, so the OR of them is true false. Okay, so that's a logical OR. Now logical NOT has only one input. So the NOT of something. You don't NOT two things. So now I only have two columns, my input and my output, and I only have two rows, which are the values that A can take on, which is 0 or 1, true or false. And the NOT is, it's sort of like complementing a bit. So the NOT of true is false. The NOT of false is true. Okay, so those are the three logical operators. Okay, now I've already said this, but let me emphasize it again. You can think about this as computation. I have an input, A and B, and I have, I do a computation, in this case is a lookup in a truth table, and I have an output, and notice that the input is a Boolean variable, 0, 1, true, false, and the output is also a Boolean variable, true, false. Okay, so everything is staying within that Boolean construct, and of course I care about that because we're going to be building a computer with only the ability to represent 0 or 1. Okay, so now here's the beautiful thing about logical AND, logical OR, logical NOT. The ability to compute those three things on two binary inputs or in a NOT on one is the building blocks of a modern day computer. They are completely built on being able to do those three incredibly simple and surprisingly simple calculations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this truth table and I just want to abstract it out and, and render it or draw it or de depict it as this thing right here. So this is called the gate. We're going to be talking about that in a little bit more detail. And it's simply think of it as sort of a graphical representation of this computation. 
two inputs come in, A and B, those are my first two columns, some computation happens that determines if both of them are true. We'll talk about that in a little bit, how we're going to build this for you. And then out comes an output. So zeros or ones come in here, two columns here, zero or one comes out here, this. And inside of here is a computation. We don't know how it works yet. It's abstracted out, but we'll, we'll show you that in a little bit. So this is called a logical AND gate. It's drawn as this big D. And we often draw a little dot in there because sometimes our drawings get sloppy and that helps us know that it's an AND gate. Now an OR gate, again, simply implementing the OR table here, the truth table, has same thing, two inputs corresponding to the two columns, one output corresponding to the logical OR. This time it's drawn as this sort of curly um, D here and it has a plus on the inside which is a way of representing OR. Computation. There is a computation going in here. We don't know what the computation is yet. Again, we'll see that in a, in a few minutes. But two binary numbers come in, one binary comes out. It's a computation. It tells me whether one or more of these variables is true or not. And lastly, logical not is represented as a gate with only one input, one column, one output, one column. And now it's a triangle with a little circle at the end. So. 0, 1 comes in, 0, 1 comes out. There's a computation going on in there that says, how do I flip from a 1 to a 0 and from a 0 to a 1? OK, so now if I can build these things, this logical and, logical or, logical not, from actual physical things, I have the building blocks for computing and or not. And then I've got to show you that I can actually build a modern computer with only those three operations. And that's sort of the magic of a modern computer is you don't need anything more for the basic computation. Obviously, you have the display and the mouse and the keyboard and all those other nice peripherals. But in terms of the core computation, we're going to show how you can build modern computation from three simple logical operators. OK, so I'm going to pick it up there. I'm going to show you how we're going to build logical and, logical or, logical not from transistors. And then we're going to start talking about the nature of computation and how you actually pull all these gates together in order to do real computation. So we'll pick it up in a few minutes.